Have you ever heard of the phrases material world and spiritual world? They are very commonly used these days, but actually very few people know what they really mean. The Vedas give a very clear and scientific explanation of these things. The material world is that place where things are temporary. They have a beginning and an end. In the spiritual world, things are eternal. You don't have to lose things and there is no ignorance. In the human form of life, we experience four main problems. And that's birth, old age, disease and death. Those problems are very hard to solve from a material point of view because I could say, ah, well, I'll be millionaire and then I won't die. And we see that science actually tries to make this huge endeavor to find the magic pill or the magic drink that will make me young forever. But by definition, the Vedas explain that this world is material. So there's no point in such research. What we should understand, the Vedas say, is what is the spiritual world and how can I get there? When I want to travel within this world to another country, the first thing they will say is show me your passport. You have to fill in this form and apply and do this request and pay this much amount and we'll see if we allow you to enter. This very similar thing happens in the spiritual world. Very few people are qualified to go there, so most people don't even know it exists. But the Vedas are very clear and you have to really think about it because every single religion in the world has this mention of the kingdom of heaven or some place higher than where we're at. And you will say, well, prove to me that the spiritual world is real. Well, I, I usually answer that by saying, what is it that's really valuable? When we talk about uh, having material things, for example, I want a big house or the latest model car or this kind of environment. We work very hard for these things and then when we get them, we experience very small happiness and then it doesn't last and then we're thinking what's wrong. So what is really valuable? And most people will answer honestly to that question with things like love, friendship, uh, caring, things like that. And if you think about those things which are valuable, you will notice that they are not measurable. You cannot weigh how much love I have for you, 10 grams, you know, it's, you can't measure those things. So they are subjective by nature. The valuable things in life are subjective. So the Vedic way explains how to get from the material world to the spiritual world. From this condition in which we have to suffer birth, old age, disease, to a condition in the future in which we won't have to experience these things. So, uh, once you know that, okay, let me accept your proposal that there is a spiritual world. What does it look like? What are the activities that I would do in the spiritual world? Most people think that heaven or the spiritual world is a place where I grab a harp and play all day some music in the clouds. <laughs> they don't have really any idea what kind of activities I would do there. Just like if you want to go to Brazil, you have a very clear idea that, oh, I, I want to go and learn the music style or play drums or dance in a party carnival. You know, there's a very clear idea why I want to go there. So, the Vedas reveal very clearly what is available in the spiritual world and what are the benefits of getting there and how I can get there. So, these are very, very important questions if you think about the reality of the spiritual world. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or visit our website. Thank you.